All right, on this one, all the x's are on the same side of the equals. We just got to combine them. So 3x plus 2x would give us this 5x. We still have the plus 7, and this equals 19. But we can't have the plus 7 there, so we've got to subtract 7 to both sides. So that creates a zero pair right here, which gives us just the 5x. 19 minus 7 is 12. Then we'll divide both sides by 5 so that our coefficient of x is 1, which we can make a phantom 1. Now we got 12, uh, x equals 12 fifths, which we simply need to check now by rewriting the original equation. So there's our equation. Once again, we'll do multiplication first. All right, there's that. Uh, but we need common denominators, so we'll change that 7 to a 35 fifths, which is 7. It's just we've changed or scaled it uh, upward, I guess. So when we combine all of these, 36 plus 35 plus 24, and 95 divided by 5 is 19. So 19 does equal 19. This is true. Since it is true, we know that our answer also is correct. So we'll just square that in like these. Now, if you made it a decimal, it would be 2.4, but I highly recommend keeping these as a fraction on the test.